Alright, last day of parabola. So we have a warm up problem like that. Yayasa! So if you could do that warm-up problem at this time. How did you start this one? So can I can I can I know what you're doing? Can I go one like back one step even before that? Can I just write down the distance formula? Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to write down the distance formula because the distance, because that's what we're talking about here, the distance is equal to big square root of I subtract the x's, square it, add that to subtracting the y's squared. Right? Okay, now go for it. Square root of 41 equals... Big square root, okay? Negative 3 minus 2, quantity squared. 1 minus y, quantity squared, and all of that is under a big square root. Love it so far. Faith, what did you do next? Got rid of the square roots by squaring both sides. Love it, okay? Because there's a square root on both sides, so let's square both sides to get rid of it. So then that becomes 41 equals, did you combine negative 3 minus 2 right away? 25, because negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Squared is 25. Love it. Did you square the 1 minus y, or did you just leave it as 1 minus y quantity squared? Okay, that's good. Because if you square it, just know that if you square this here, it is not 1 minus y squared. Because it's 1 minus y times 1 minus y, which is 1 minus 2y plus y squared. Okay? Can't just square the terms. Okay? Have to square the whole thing. Okay, love it. Vu, what would you do next? You can either work off of the green. The green is, you know, we took this point, you know, or whatever you did. I'm ready for you. Well, I subtracted 25. Love subtracting 25. What did you get? Um, 16. Okay, that's a good thing. Square root of both sides? Love it. Oops, yes I did. Square root of both sides. Okay. DJ. Did you do all this? This is where you got stuck? Do you know what the square root of 16 is? Normally it would be 4, right? But because we're solving... It's plus or minus 4. Yep. And what would you get on the other side? 1 minus y. Yep. I'm going to extend my page a little bit now. Okay. What do you got, Lane? Don't know. So if you had this, so in your brain, okay, we can do it all as 1. But in my brain, I'm really thinking that this is... 4 equals 1 minus y, and negative 4 equals 1 minus y, right? How would you solve either one of those? Subtract the 1. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. So I'm going to subtract the 1 over here too, okay? All right, just like I'm doing it over here, and I would get 3 equals negative y, and negative 5 equals negative y, right? Okay. Over here, though, it's going to be negative 1 plus minus 4 equals negative y. 
okay? With me? Okay, so then negative one plus four gets me three. Right? And negative one minus four gets me negative five. So now I'm in the same spot. Okay? Savannah, so are we done? Why not? Variable's got to be positive, right? So I got to go through and I got to do what? Multiply both sides twice by negative 1, right? Okay. So then this becomes negative 3 is equal to y and positive 5 is equal to y. So if y is negative 3 or if y is 5, then the distance between those two points is the square root of 41. Yes, yes, because otherwise you're only giving half the answers, and I'll only give you half the points. Okay, yeah, because it's both, because it's the, it's that whole, so I'll do it in purple. So you got a line, and you got a point, yes, this distance here is the square root of 41, and that might be the only one that you find, okay? But this distance over here is also the square root of 41, so we got to find them both. Okay? Okay? Now, the nice part about today is you don't need to have graph paper in order to do today's work. Okay? You can if you want, but you don't need it. Okay? Because today we're not graphing. Today, we're writing the equations of the parabolas based on the given information that we have. Okay? So, we're going to have two different kinds of answers today. We're going to have x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times the quantity y minus k as one of our answers. That's the general form of an up-down parabola. Or it's going to look like y minus k quantity squared equals 4p times the quantity x minus h, which is the general form of a left-right. Parabola. So based upon the information that's given, and you'll be given two pieces of information, okay? and based upon that information, you will be able to determine which way the parabola opens. Okay? Because the focus is inside the parabola, and the directrix is outside the parabola. And the parabola never crosses the directrix. So you'll be able to figure out that kind of information. Okay? Now, again, you could graph these two points. You could put these two points on a graph and then start where your parabola is. Okay? Or you could simply just do this. So I've got my vertex at 0, 0. Right? Oops, I should do that. I should, because we, so we stay in color coordination. I've got my vertex at 0, 0. Yeah. And then I've got my focus at negative 2, 0. In relation to 0, 0, 
which direction is negative 2 comma 0? It's to the left. Okay? So my focus is at negative 2 comma 0. Based upon that information, which way does this parabola open? It opens to the left because the parabola or the focus has to be inside the parabola. Okay? So because it opens to the left, that is a y minus k quantity squared equals positive or negative 4p. Left is which direction? the negative direction, so it's going to be negative 4p times the quantity x minus h. Okay. h and k, where do I find h and where do I find k? They're the h is which part of the vertex? The x part of the vertex. So this is h, this is k. So right off the start, I'm at y minus 0 quantity squared equals negative 4. I got to figure out what p is yet. x minus 0. Right? Based off of the two points that are given, what is P? What is P? Four? Marles, I think we're up to you. What do you think? Well, actually, let me let me backtrack a little bit. Let me ask you from the last two days of class, what is P? Or what is the definition, the word definition of P? No. Think, think about the word definition of P. Isn't it A? No. P is not A. It's a dis what distance is it? From the vertex to the focus is that is that distance, right? Okay. So this distance here is P, which is 2. So P is equal to 2. So P is equal to 2, which makes 4P, Caden. 8. Okay? P is not 8. 4P is 8. Okay? Alright? So, once we have all those parts filled in, now we can just simply make it look nice and pretty, because that's what we like to do, is we like to make things look nice and pretty. Y minus 0, that can just be simplified to what? Just to Y, right, Kurt? Okay? So then that's just going to be Y squared. Negative 4 times 2 is? Negative 8. X minus 0 is? Just X. Do I need parentheses around it yet? Nope, because it's just X. So the equation of this parabola is Y squared equals negative 8X. Okay. Now, I, sometimes I will tell you a little white lie, okay? And then I'll usually smile and I'll, you know, kind of have a little blank-eating grin on my face, okay? But I am not lying to you when I tell you this. That one took us ten times as long as it will take you normal, okay? Because we were going through it the first time, okay? Honestly, this 
coming up with equation stuff. If you know, if you know how to graph a parabola, which that's what we've been doing the last two days, okay, if you understand those five steps, this this stuff's easy. Okay? This is you're like, thank you, Lynn. I needed an easy homework over the weekend. Okay? Alright? So <laughs> it's six questions. You'll have it done before you leave class today. You will. Right? Is it six? Yeah, it's six questions. There's a lot. Try this one. So I've got a vertex at a point two comma negative three. Yes? And then I've got a directrix, which is the line y equals negative six. Is that horizontal or is that vertical? That's a horizontal, and it's below that point. Agree? That this scenario looks like that. Yes? Okay. All right. So which way is this parabola going to open, Matthew? Up. Yep. So an up opening parabola is going to be x minus h quantity squared equals Brett, positive or negative 4p for an up opening parabola? Positive. So it's going to be positive 4p times x. Oops, I put x twice. That one second one should have been a y. Y minus K. Okay? Give me something I know, Katie. Uh, the H and the K. H and the K. So which one's H? The 2. Which one's K? The negative 3. Oops. That way. Okay. So then this becomes X minus 2 quantity squared equals 4. I don't know what P is yet. Y minus negative 3. Yes? Okay, what's P? P is not 6. What do you got? Y3. Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. No. The distance between That's what he said, isn't he, though? I know, but you okay. know what I know. Okay, so the distance, I like this, I like this where this definition is going better. The distance between the point and the line. The distance between the point and the line is three. And that's also my p value, right? Because we defined it earlier as p was the distance vertex to focus. But we also defined it the last couple of days as distance from vertex to directrix. Okay? So P there is 3. Okay? So now we just have to make it look nice and pretty. Okay? All right? So I get, Russell, back me up. But this one is the one that you got. X minus 2 quantity squared equals 12 times the quantity Y minus 3. That's what I got too. And so that is the equation of the parabola with a vertex at 2 comma negative 3. Oops, tap the brakes. We, this one should have been plus. Is that what you were going to tell me, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, well, I got to it when I was reading off the vertex. Okay. So that gives the equation of a, of a parabola with vertex at 2 comma negative 3 and directrix of negative 6, or y equals negative 6. Try that one. I wish you were probably yelling at you for days. Oh, <laughs> she's yelling at me for years. Okay. All right, so we got the focus at negative 6, comma 3. So I'm going to just put the focus over here at negative 6, comma, 3. 
Okay? And then I've got my directrix at x equals 4. x equals 4 is a vertical line over there. Right? So what is the distance? Well, I shouldn't say distance. Which way is this parabola going to open? It's going to open to the left. Okay? So that's a y minus k quantity squared equals positive or negative. I don't remember where we're at. Negative. Negative. Okay, negative 4p times x minus h. Right? I don't have anything to fill in as of right now because I don't have my vertex and I don't have P. Okay. What do I have? What's the one thing that I have? I have the distance between the focus and the directrix. What is the distance between the focus and the directrix? How much? Not 11. 6 to get back to 0, 4 more to go, 10. Okay? So that distance is 10, which means P is how much? P is 5. Okay? So if P is 5, because it's half of that distance, right? which means then that my vertex is going to be right there. What are the coordinates of my vertex? Negative 1, comma, 3. Because then that gives this distance as 5 and this distance as 5. Now I've got enough. Now it's going to be y minus 3 quantity squared equals negative 4 times p is 5 times x minus h is negative 1. Make it look nice and pretty y minus 3 quantity squared equals negative 20 times the quantity x plus 1. Okay. You will be given two of the three, focus, vertex, director. We've just now done one example of each of the three types of problems that you could get. Okay? Oh. I forgot there's a graph. I didn't turn the final page. Can we just skip it? No, we can do it. It's, how long is it going to take you to graph a parabola? A minute? Maybe. That's why I said we could just skip it. Yes? Do we agree? Opens up. Correct. Okay. Love it. Why? X is squared. Positive. X coefficient. Positive non-squared coefficient. Love it. Vertex. 4, negative 2. Agree with 4, negative 2. Yes. 4, negative 2, vertex. Love it. Four, and we need P first. Somebody other than Colin. P is 4. Because 4P four is 16, so P is 4? Correct. Okay. So that means that my focus is 4. Where? Up, down, left, or right? Uh -oh. Up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's my focus. Right there. So that's it. 4 comma 2? No. Which means that 4 down. down is my directrix. 3 and 4. That was kind of <laughs> dramatic. I understand. 
It happens to the best of us. Which gives me a line of what? Negative 6 is the number. Y equals negative 6 is my directrix. Love it. Width of my parabola through the focus? 16. 16, which means I'm going 8 on each side. Now, so that's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. So it's kind of somewhere right over in there. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 right there. That allows me to draw it in. That allows me to put in my axis of symmetry. What is my axis of symmetry? X equals 4. 4. Just 4. Love it. Okay. Okay. I gave you seven minutes to do homework. Finish off that worksheet. That worksheet I will collect on Monday. Seven minutes, which is probably four minutes more than you need.